warm welcome to all of you. My name is Tom Jose and today I shall be showing you a demo on the AD Cell Service Plus application. Now AD Cell Service Plus is a secure web-based end user password reset management program. It allows the user to perform self-service password reset, self-service account unlock and also self-update their personal details in the Windows Active Directory and thus is the main feature of this application. Now on this AD Cell Service Plus homepage, you can see on the left side the forgot your password link where users who have forgotten their password can click on this link and authenticate themselves and reset their password. Similarly, under that we have the account lockdown link where users who are locked out of their machine can click on this link, authenticate themselves and unlock their account. Now in a large IT environment, users may have accounts on different platforms other than the Microsoft Windows. Thus, to keep the login process simple, they may all have the same usernames and passwords, making it easier for them as they only have to remember one password. But this makes it difficult for the administrators because when the password is changed in one system, it has to be replicated across all other systems. That's where AD Cell Service Plus comes to the rescue. The real-time password synchronizer feature synchronizes password or account changes across a range of cloud-based and on-premise applications in real time. So when a user makes changes to their Windows Active Directory password or account using AD Cell Service Plus or using any other Windows native methods, the changes are automatically reflected in other systems too. So first let me log in as the admin and you can see that this application is already pre-configured with the domain AD360. Please note that when AD Cell Service Plus is initialized, it auto discovers for the domains. And now let's go to the password sync page. For that, we need to go to the configuration tab. On the left side, under self service, we have the password sync page. So, as you can see, these are the cloud apps and the on premise applications which AD Cell Service Plus supports password synchronizer for. So, for this demo, I should be configuring the cloud app Office 365. So let me just click on that. But before which we need to make sure that we have installed the Windows Azure AD module for Windows PowerShell in the machine in which the product is running. And you can click on learn more to see how it's done. So for 32 bit systems, you need to download and install the Microsoft Online Services Sign-in Assistant from here and the Windows Azure AD module for Windows PowerShell from here. And for 64 bit systems, we need to do it from this links and if the product AD Cell Service Plus is 32 bit and is running in your 64 bit system, we need to make sure that we move the MS Online and MS Online extended folders from this path here to the path shown here. And that being done, I can just close this and configure my domain name. So that is ramchand.info and the username that is roland at rolandnet.onmicrosoft dot com and the password let me just type that and the description I'm going to keep as for demo purpose and among the available policies we only have one existing one and that is 8360 so I'll just click save and my office 365 domain has been configured for password synchronizer and now I shall log sign out and log in as the user Eddie who is already enrolled into the AD Cell Service Plus. So let me just type in the username and the password and log in. And now we have another tab as you can see here, the applications tab. So let me just click on that. And you can see the Office 365 domain which we had configured. And here you can click on it to link your account. So Eddie has a user in Office 365 and the username is edward and the password let me just type that and let me just click link and he has been linked and now i can go to change password and here in the select accounts you can see the edward user from office 365 so i just need to type in an old password let me just do that and keeping in mind the password policy requirements, let me type a new password. 
Let me just confirm that and click on change password. And as you can see, both my Active Directory password and my Office 365 password has been changed. So let me go to the Office 365 and try to log in as Eddie with the new password. So the username is edward at ramchand.info and let me just type in the new password and click sign in. And as you can see, I've been successfully signed in. That means the change password had been synced from my AD account to my Office 365 account as well. Now in this scenario, I had to manually link the user. Now we have another feature called the auto account linking. So let me just log in as the administrator and go to the configuration page and under password sync. So on the right side, we have the account linking option and we need to choose a provider for which we have already configured. So let me just click on that. And you can see by default, the auto account linking is enabled and it's enabled for the SAM account name. This means that if the SAM account name of a user is the same as the username in his Office 365 account, then the Office 365 account will be automatically linked to the AD account. And we can choose different attributes as well. It can be CN, employee ID, company, mobile, given name, and various other attributes. So let me just click save and close this and sign out. Now I have a user, Tom Juice, who has a user in Office 365 with the same name Tom Juice, but I forgot the password. So I can just click on forgot your password. And because he's already enrolled into the AD Seltzer's Plus, I just have to type in the question answers. The first one, let me just type that answer. And the second one as well. And the captcha that is 806H6H and continue. Now note that in the select accounts, I hadn't manually linked the user Tom Joes from the Office 365 domain, but it's already mentioned here. And now I just have to keep in mind the domain password policy requirements and type in a new password. Let me just type that and confirm it as well. And please note on the top right, we can see the time left for this operation. By default, it's five minutes. If you do exceed this, the session will expire and we need to start all over again. So I'll just go down and type the captcha that is FP3SAG and reset. And as you can see, the password for my AD account as well as my Office 365 account has been successfully reset. This was done without manually linking and depending on the auto account linking feature. So let me just log in to the Office 365 account as Tom Juice at ramchand.info and type in the new password I had just typed and sign in. And as you can see, I've successfully signed in, which means the password I had reset for my AD account has been reset for my Office 365 account as well. And now I shall show you about the password sync agent. So let me just log in as the administrator and go to the configuration and under cell service we have the password sync. So here you can see the important note. So let me just click on this learn more and you can see how the password sync agent works and what are the installation prerequisites and the installation steps. Now password sync agent records all the password changes and resets done by the user from the Gina or if the admin resets a user's password from the ADUC and synchronizes it to all the linked accounts, whether it's cloud or on-premise. Now this can be very useful if the user is away from internet and does a password change to his user account from his machine so that the next time the user connects his machine with the internet, the password sync agent synchronizes the new password with all the linked accounts of the user. Now the password sync agent has to be installed on the primary domain controller of your domain. So I have already installed it as you can see here and the installation file for the password sync agent can be found in your AD Seltzer's Plus home folder. And if you just navigate to the bin here. So 
once installed, you'll find a tray icon here and you have these options that is edit settings when the server is moved to another machine and you can start the service or stop the service. So let me just first edit the settings and type in the server name and port number of my running product that is AD360 PC1 and the port number that is 8888 and click save. And it says the server details have been updated successfully. And let me just close and show you the server status. And you can see the server status that is my product is live and the service status that is a password sync agent is currently running. So right now I'm logged into the machine as the user Tom Joes and I shall change my password from the native change password screen assuming that I'm not connected to the network and hence unable to change it from the AD Cell Service Plus home page. Now I shall just go to my control or delete screen and click on change password and type in my old password and I'll just think of a new password and I'll just type that as well. Let me just confirm that and click change. And now my password has been successfully changed and because I have installed the password sync agent, it will record this change and reflect it to all my linked accounts. So let me just go to the Office 365 page and Try logging in as the user tomjoes at ramchand.info with the new password and click sign in. And as you can see, I have been successfully logged into my Office 365 account, which means that the password sync agent had synchronized the password change I had done from my machine's change password screen. Similarly, like I had said earlier, if you reset a user's password from the ADUC screen, the password sync agent will synchronize the password change to all the linked accounts of the user. So that's how we can sync our AD account with other cloud apps or on-premise apps through the AD Cell Service Plus. I hope this video was informative. Similarly, we have other resources each explaining a specific feature of AD Cell Service Plus. So feel free to view them as well.